Hello and welcome English 4A scholars. So today I'm going to help you finish up that 2.01 Unit 2 project with a really quick um, helpful video on what exactly is expected. First things first, steps for 2.01 Unit 2 project is to read or listen to The Wife of Bat's Tale. And once you are doing that, well, while you are doing that, you want to identify the lesson or the theme, the literary theme in the story. Three, then you choose your final product. How are you going to uh, show this? So it'll either be like in a paragraph explaining the theme, what it is, the three pieces of evidence that you find in the section above, um, get creative, write your own story using the same theme, uh, make it into a presentation. The choice is up to you. Um, if you're not sure if it's okay, please reach out. Um, but the big deal is, is we want to make sure you are able to identify the theme and then somehow present either explanation or creative use of said theme. This story does have more than one theme. Um, if you so choose, you could choose one of the other tales from the Canterbury Tales, but you want to be aware that in the later parts of our class, you're going to want to know what's happening in the Wife of Bath's Tale. So first you're going to choose how you will learn the story. So you can go in the textbook and read it. You can use the Spark Notes, which is a easier read um, with the original story, how it was written in the Old English there beside it, which is kind of neat to see. You can use the mini video summaries, which I've got a YouTube link for and a safe no ads version for all on the recordings for English for a page. And then for full points, that's that summarizing with the theme and why it is the theme, making a presentation, a comic, a song, tell an original story or retell another story that has the same theme, etc. And that's really it. So if you have more questions, you are more than welcome to uh, connect. Thanks for attending, aka watching this video. Um, if you need more help, you can always go back through and pause and finish each step. And then, of course, reach out to me to see if that worked. And remember that we are all learning here, so it's okay if you didn't get it perfect the first time. Um, we are trying to learn and grow from where we're at. So. Thank you so much for putting in the effort and watching, and of course, reach out if you need me. Have a great one.